breaking news, Nigerians. Truth is out. Too. Finally, President Bola Metunubu is finished. As top Senate of official leaves Nigerians in shock. He exposes Tinubu's criminal record. See what he says that got everybody talking. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Senator Obayemi Bamidele, the majority leader of the Senate, openly acknowledged that the $460,000 relinquished by the President Bola Tinubu to the United States was derived from involvement in drugs operations and money laundering. During his appearance as the primary witness in support of Tinubu's defense against the Labour Party candidate Peter Obi's lawsuit, challenging his victory before the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal, PEPT. Bami Dele disclosed this information. While being cross-examined by the lawyers representing Peter Obi, Bami Dele acknowledged that President Bola Tinubu had indeed surrendered more than $460,000 obtained from illegal, illegal drug activities. This particular case took place during the 1990s in the United States when Tinubu resided in Chicago. Leading up to the presidential election on February 25th, the president chose not to discuss the forfeiture despite his prominent coverage in the media for the several years. When questioned by Levi Uzo, Uzoko, the chief legal counsel representing Obi, Bami Dele was asked if he was aware of the narcotics related origins of the forfeiture. In response, he confirmed that he, he, he indeed knew about the connection. Additionally, he acknowledged that he had he had acknowledge of more he had, he had knowledge of money laundering being associated with Tinubu's case prior to the ultimate forfeiture. Bamidele emerged as the most prominent associate of Tinubu to affirm both the forfeiture and the narcotics-related background of the former governor of Lagos State. In the initial stages, Tinubu submitted a total of 18 documents to the tribunal as part of his defense against the lawsuit. Contesting the outcome of the February 25th election, wherein he was officially declared the victor. These documents were subsequently accepted and acknowledged by the tribunal. Among the documents submitted were notable items such as a letter from Tarfa Balogu, Tafawa Balogu, the former inspector general of police, addressed to the U.S. Embassy in Nigeria and dated February 3, 2003. Additionally, there was a letter received from the embassy, U.S. Embassy on February 4, 2003. Furthermore, a collection of Tinubu's educational records from Chicago State University, duly certified by Joma C. Ore Associates, General Counsel of the Office of Legal Affairs at Chicago State University, Chicago, was included as well. In addition, to the aforementioned document, there were several others presented as evidence. These included data pages from Tinubu's international passport, highlighting his travels to the United States between 2011 and 2023. Furthermore, there was a forwarding letter from the Labour Party dated April 25, 2022, regarding the submission of membership registration the Labour Party's register of members of members for Anambra State was also included along with a copy of the report from the Committee on the Location of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, and Historical Bureau. Nigerians, 
this is a, a very shocking one. No? Because the person that is admitting this is supposed to defend the the uh, president, Bola Tinubu. And now he has acknowledged all this. When I know say Bola Tinubu done, they say nothing happened like that. You know, at that first time, uh, first of Kayamo, I know I know. He can't talk, say, good and fine. No? You know, say, these people, they just they rub themselves. They rope themselves inside deeply. This is what you get oh, when you are not straightforward in what you do. He can't talk, say, good and fine. No, that issue of forfeiture, he correct. But, but Bola Tinubu actually forfeited that amount of money to the U.S. He said, but he know they involved for the matter. He was a, a flatmate to those people. That was caught. So, as then they do the investigation, they can't see Bola Metinubu, they can't arrest him. So, now, so you take enter the Matao, not be saying they involved in drug trafficking you know, and all that. And now, another thing when we say he don't rope them join, the Labour Party don't see go as far as to bring in the US uh, documents, they certify copy. When we say they take charge, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, when he can't take forfeit this amount of money to the U.S. government. So Nigerians are really watching to see how this uh, presidential election court will go about this. Because true, true, if Bola Ahmed Tinubu was involved in all this, you're not supposed to be president. Eh? How can you be referring, our pre referring to a, a president of a nation as once a drug trafficker? It's not a good name oh, at all. You understand that portrays a bad image, you know, of Nigeria. And as Nigerians as well, when I know as then they take our matter aside, not to talk of this one. And one um US uh, uh medical doctor is retired, Jeffrey Gotterman. You don't talk and say you see this case of this drug trafficking case, eh? When they before Bola Metinable. He said the US just they keep quiet. You see all these uh uh, foreign countries, eh? They go use them against Nigeria. They go use them, take side phone Nigeria. And that is why it's not good for Nigeria to just enter this journey. Well, make we see how everything will come out last, last. But before then, guys, if you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up.